Hi, I'm Ryan. Today we're going to talk about the power station and the electronics side of the Scout campers. So let's just uh, start with this Goal Zero here. So um, they come with a charger underneath the lid. So this has your standard, you know, 110, 120 plug on it. Uh, so at home you can plug in the Goal Zero to charge it. If you're at a campsite, you can run a, a um, extension cord from the shore power to charge this up. So this is your standard charge block here, which will allow you to charge the Goal Zero. Um, it comes right under the lid. Um, one of the big questions that we get is, hey, if I pull this Goal Zero out for the winter, how do I put it back inside my camper? So first off, all of the plugs inside the Scout camper are all labeled. So now you're gonna have one for your 12 volt system, your car charger, your solar, um, all these things. So um, they're all labeled, so that's gonna be nice and handy. But if they're not, we'll kind of give you a, an idea of where they go anyway. So um, I'll just mention this quickly, what this is. We also have a, way to ground the Goal Zero. So we just wanna make sure if there is ever a surge or anything, it doesn't transfer to the Goal Zero case, it goes to the jacks outside the camper and protect the Goal Zero. So that's what this little plug is here. It's a grounding cable on your Goal Zero. Anyways, so this uh, Goal Zero is gonna go inside, back inside the camper. You took it out for the winter. Uh, it, it was cold outside, so you brought it inside. Now you're going back out to your camper. The first thing, once you place it inside, you're gonna to wanna to do is lift the lid here and you're gonna to wanna to run the diesel heater uh, the one that's labeled diesel heater underneath the lid and plug in the Anderson connection right here. So diesel heater first, and then that's gonna allow more space for all your other inputs on the front. So diesel heater under the lid, close your lid up. Um, then you're gonna have your solar plug. So this is a new module here on the top. Uh, it's kind of like an extra brain, let's call it, for the Goal Zero that allows the Goal Zero to, to decide between which one has more input, the solar panel or the car charger, but it will decide for you. So you have to unplug, replug, this module will do it for you. So this is where your solar panel is gonna go. Uh, this is the top right corner of the Goal Zero. And then down here on the left with the blue circle, that's going to be your car charging plug. So that allows the truck to charge the Goal Zero when the truck is running with the lights on. So that is a standard feature in the Scout. So the, the Goal Zero and the camper, so the Scout will come set up so that the truck will charge it via the seven way. So you need a seven way plug from the truck to the camper. Once that's connected and the truck is running with the lights on, the goal zero should be getting charged. If it's not, check with your truck manufacturer. It might be a fuse or something like that, but the camper is set up for the truck to charge the goal zero, 100%. Um, next year, you're gonna have your additional exterior solar panel charging. So if you have a portable panel or your own solar, um, there's an external SAE plug right by your seven way plug. That's on the driver's side of the camper. Wing wall underneath, you're gonna have your seven way input and then you're gonna have an SAE plug. So if you plug a, a, a briefcase panel or a portable panel into that, that's also gonna get charge your Goal Zero and that would go right into this front plug right here. Um, you can see here, you got your different systems. You got your, you know, your 110, your 12 volt, your 110, 120, all your different plugs for charging your cameras, gears, cell phones, whatever you need to charge. That's all good. Uh, and and regard, in regards to that, I mean, again, this is a standard option, the Scout Campers. This comes as part of your base price. This thing works great and it's a great power solution. So um, I guess one thing is, if you are gonna be doing extended stays in your Scout Camper, uh, you will wanna be mindful that without any sun, without any truck driving, without any shore power, you're only gonna get, you know, depending on your power usage, you know, a couple of few days off to go zero. So there's ways to maximize this. That could be doing something like uh, running your truck once in a while. It could be finding a way to plug into shore power. It could be using external panel or parking your camper somewhere where it will get solar charging, even in the clouds, things like that. Um, or you can bring a portable generator and run that to charge it. But if you are doing extended stays in your Scout, you will wanna be mindful of the amp hours and the watt hours on this Goal Zero as you will need some kind of input to have extended stays. Other than that, this power station works amazing. Um, on the 2024s, there is also a new fuse uh, block inside the camper, so all the wirings run to one spot. Uh, so you can be able to see that where all the, all the cables are run to, which really tidies up that area inside the camper. And then also on the 2024s, the power station compartment is adjustable. So this one right now is sitting on a table from an Olympic, but inside the actual camper, there's a base underneath the power station that comes out, and that's gonna bring it the total height for that that uh, space to about just over two feet, I believe, which will allow you to do different power um, options. So you could go with a system like a Red Arc battery type setup or a Blue Eddy, uh, you know, different power station options or power options altogether like the Red Arc. But there's lots of different things you can do if you need more power. Um, but this one does work great. I have one in my own camper. Works great for my trips and definitely for a few days. So again, standard part of the base price of the campers and it works great.